Containers are self-contained applications that can be easily moved between servers in Azure or on-premises. I'm in my Azure portal and I'm going to create a container. I'm going to go up to the search at the top and type containers and I'll choose the container apps and I'll click to create a new container. We need to choose our subscription as well as our resource group and then the container app itself. And I'll call this one the Ascend Container and choose my region. And then I'll click Next for the app settings. If I've already created a container, then I can uncheck the box and then type in the name of it. I could search for it in the Azure Container Registry or go to the Docker Hub or other registries as well. If I haven't created one before, it's going to create a simple one here called the Hello World Container, and it's going to allow connectivity from anywhere on port 80. Since I don't already have a container, I'll go ahead and choose that and click Next. As usual, the tags portion comes up. I'm going to go ahead and ignore that because I don't have any tags I need to apply. And now it's going to validate it. And once it all looks good, I can click on Create. Everything looks great, so I'll click on Create. And my container will shortly be created. Deployment is currently in progress. My deployment is complete. I'll click on Go to Resource. And here are all the different settings for my container. In the overview section, we can take a look at the application URL. This is going to be a web container, so I can just go ahead and copy to the clipboard and then open this up in a web browser. And here it is. It says, Welcome to Azure Container App. So this is my container connection itself. I'm connecting to the container, which is an Internet Information Services type of web app container that's in the Azure cloud. There are other settings that we can control, such as the access control. We can click on View My Access, and we can take a look and see what the different groups or users have as far as access to this particular container. We can grant access to the container as well by adding a role assignment. I'll click on Contributor, for instance, and we can see what a contributor has as far as rights goes to this particular container. And we have many other settings that we can go into to manage our container. If you'd like to manage your container the same way you would manage it from a server, you can go down and click on Console. Console is going to connect to it. And here we can choose which container we want. Of course, we only have the one. So I'm going to click on Connect. And you can see the directory that we're connecting to. And all these containers are Linux-based. So you'll need to know some Linux commands in order to manage anything here. For instance, I'll do an ls command, and it shows me a list of all the different files and folders. Containers are great because of their flexibility and ability to be easily moved when needed because there are no hooks into the operating system. 